Hi everyone! It's January something or other, which means that February is right around the corner. And that means that Valentine's Day, or Galentine's Day, or whatever you want to call it, is also around the corner. And if you're anything like me and you like getting dressed up and going out, then this might be a good video for you. Because I'm going to show you some ways to carry in date night outfits. There may or may not be a reddish Valentine's Day theme here, but this can work with a ton of different kinds of outfits. It's not just for Valentine's Day. But since that's right around the corner, I thought we'd celebrate by trying on some different outfits and seeing how we can carry in them. I know that a lot of women think that it's difficult to carry in everyday clothes and if you're gonna go on a date, how are you gonna carry in a dress and all this stuff. So I'm gonna go over some things that I've found to work and hopefully it'll be helpful to you. I carry a Smith & Wesson Shield in 9mm. So that's the gun that I'm gonna be showing you in the holsters and outfits I'm wearing today. I wouldn't advise changing up the gun that you carry because it's going to mess with your muscle memory and ideally you should be training with your carry gun frequently and you should get proficient with it. So if you're good with this gun, I would advise carrying that gun and not changing it up too often based on your holster or your outfit. I would advise finding a gun that you shoot well and then basing your concealment and outfits on that gun. So every outfit I show you today is gonna have my shield in it. So let's get started. Okay, this first outfit I'm gonna show you is a dress. I bought this from Express maybe like four or five years ago. So it's probably not still there, but they always have really similar styles. So if you like it, you can probably find something similar there. Now, this dress is really fitted in the hip area, so if I were to wear a thigh holster, which I am, I would wear it on the inside of my thigh rather than on the outside of my other leg because it's going to print because this is so tight here. So I can wear it on the inside of my thigh and it's really comfortable. It doesn't show at all. And the thing with thigh holsters is that you have to position them and get it into a spot where it's comfortable and not rubbing up against your other leg. Because if you don't get it in a good spot, it's going to be really annoying all night. But you just have to play with it and make sure you get it into a good spot where it's not bothering you. And this one I can barely feel right now. It's really comfortable. I could walk around like this all night and it wouldn't bother me. Another nice thing about thigh holsters is that they work really well with coats. And because I live in New England and it gets really cold, coats are very necessary in February, so I'm going to show you what I mean right now. If you live in a state that gets really, really cold in the wintertime, you're obviously going to have to wear a coat when you're walking around, whether it's just to the car or whatever. You still want to be able to access your gun. So if you've got a coat on like this, it's got a zipper and a belt, there's obviously a lot in the way to get to your gun if you were carrying on your waistline. It's kind of hard to pick up the whole coat and get to your waistline. But if you're carrying on your thigh, it's right there. Because this doesn't go much past where any skirt or dress would end, maybe. So getting to your gun is still really easy. And that's something that you need to think about because you still want to be able to access your gun even if you're just walking to and from the car. So take a look at your coats and your outerwear and think about how it could get in the way if you need to draw your gun and figure out ways to work around it. So now I'm wearing a skirt with a loose blouse and I've tied the blouse here at the waist and that's just so that I can draw easier. I'm carrying my gun in a belly band holster and I'll take it off so that you can see it. But you can see the grip of my gun is sticking out. So if I needed to draw, all I have to do is lift my blouse and I can draw like that. Now, the cool thing about skirts is that you have a lot of options when it comes to carrying because you do have access to a waistline, but you can also carry on your thigh. So I've got my thigh holster here and you can't see it. It's concealed, it's comfortable, and that would allow me to tuck in my shirt if I wanted to and not have to have it tied in the middle. 
So I'm just gonna show you the thigh holster in its entirety. So this is what it looks like. It's basically an elastic band and you can buy an additional garter belt to go with it and that kind of gives you extra support. But I've found that I can wear it tight enough where it's not gonna fall off at all, even if I wear it all day. So this is the thigh holster and the belly band. Hang on a second. Okay, so this is the belly band. It's basically a thick elastic band and it has two pockets in the front and two in the back and it has this sticky stuff on the inside that allows it to grip to your skin and you can adjust it and wear it whichever way you want and it's really comfortable i really like this one and i also talk about this one in my how i run with a gun video because this is the only holster i found to work when i go running This is a more casual date night look. I've got some black jeans on with a flowy pink tank top and some thigh high boots. So concealing in this outfit isn't too hard because there's so much space here because of how flowy this top is. And that allows me to carry in something like this, which is a corset holster. And this one actually matches my outfit. Look at that. But there's my gun. So to draw, all I'd have to do is lift up my blouse and I can draw like that. Now that draw takes some practice because of how close the gun is held to your body in a holster like this, but it conceals really well and it's extremely comfortable. If you can't tell, I'm wearing a jumpsuit now which means that the top and the bottom are completely attached. It's one whole piece from top to bottom. I love this one. It's got pockets. You can move in it. If you know what that's from, we can be friends. But the thing with jumpsuits and rompers is that they make concealment and carrying a gun really difficult. And the only way that I've found to carry a gun when I'm wearing a jumpsuit is with a purse. So a purse is what I like to call my last resort holster. When I can't carry any other way but I still want to have a gun on me, I go to my purse. And normally I would get one that's like black or red to match my shoes, but this is the one I have so that's what I'm showing you. And as you can see, it has a separate pocket for your gun with a separate holster, so nothing's going to come in contact with your gun in your purse. And all your other stuff can go in the other pockets, but just make sure that only your gun is in that pocket. And I like to unzip the top so that I can have my hand on my gun really quickly if I need to access it. It's just a really quick movement rather than having to unzip the purse and then get my hand in there. So purses can be worn obviously with any outfit. Chances are you're going to be carrying a purse anyway. So any of the outfits I showed you earlier can also work with a purse. Just make sure it's a good quality one and that your gun is not going to get in contact with anything else and make sure that you have it under your direct control the whole time and that no one else can get to your gun. So just make sure it's always on you. That's the one thing that can kind of be annoying about a purse holster is that you always have to have it with you. So they're good if you're gonna be walking around and you're gonna be carrying a purse anyway. But if you're gonna to go to the club or whatever the young kids do these days and you don't wanna have your purse on you at all times, then it might not be a good idea. But these are a great option and they still allow you to carry even if you're wearing something like a jumpsuit. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. I'm going to link all the products in the description box below. And please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you like this video to see my upcoming content. And also comment below and let me know which outfit I should wear on Valentine's Day. I hope you all have a great day and stay safe out there. Bye!